It was quite the night last night. Game one of the NBA Finals. The internet's still going crazy over this play. It is being called. I mean, come on, right, Robin? One of the biggest mistakes ever running out the clock while the game was tied. And you can see LeBron going, what are you doing? What are you doing? The Cavs losing in you? OT. They could not recover. You knew once they went to overtime, it just How wasn't going to happen. Know I, know, no, I don't How know the score. How does that happen? That's just game one. And we already have some, some conflict between Steph and LeBron. We've got some controversy. And yes, confusion was the headline. Why in the world, when all he had to do was shoot the ball and possibly win the game for the Cavs, why did J.R. Smith run away from his own goal? That's a bad mistake by J.R. Smith. It was an NBA Finals fail for the ages. You get the feeling J.R. Smith the thought they had the lead. Game tied. Five seconds left in regulation. The Cavaliers had possession and a chance to win. All they had to do was shoot. And everybody in the arena seemed to understand that, except the Cavs' J.R. Smith, who had the ball. He didn't know the score. I think exactly. Instead of putting up a shot, he dribbled out beyond the three-point line. LeBron frantically pointed to the basket, then tried to call a timeout, but Smith just kept on dribbling, only stopping to pass it with half a second left, and it was too late. After the game, Cavs head coach Tyron Lue said Smith didn't know the score. He thought, he thought it was over. He thought we were up one. But Smith maintained he knew the score was tied. I knew it was tied. It's just I thought I was going to call a timeout because I got the rebound. LeBron, who put up 51 points, was obviously frustrated. I thought we were all aware of what was going on. That's my view. So I don't know what JR was thinking. Did you know if he knew the score? He walked out of the post-game press conference after he was repeatedly asked about that final play in regulation. The Warriors went on to win the game handily in overtime. That didn't stop things from getting chippy between the league's top two superstars. Talking some trash, so I talked some trash back. Um, after that, it's just a bunch of nonsense. It has nothing to do with the game. You know, great effort all the way through. And we're standing an amazing performance by Braun tonight. Well, J.R. Smith is sticking by his story. He said he absolutely did know the score, but just in those last few moments thought they might call a timeout. We shall see. Also, controversial call at the end that was overturned. That was a foul on LeBron James. So a yeah. lot of people talking about that. And again, guys, this is just game one. Game two is coming up on Sunday. But a lot of people, you remember, talking about, do we want to see this matchup again? Well, there's your proof last night. This is definitely worth watching. Yes, indeedy it is. And how do you think the Cavaliers are going to respond after that? I mean, you saw how... You know, King James walked out of that press conference, and you can understand the frustration he must be feeling. Well, the frustration there, of course, right, Robin? He scored 51 points. That is a playoff record for him in his storied career. He put up those kind of numbers, gave that kind of effort, and you saw that frustration. It has mm. so many memes. If you want to be entertained today, <laughs> go see the memes online of that frustration. Try to say, JR, go to the basket. And so it's going to take that kind of effort from him, but he gave it last night, and they still came up short.